online black travel fashion show is the first of its kind. We merge travel and fashion in a way that introduces you to some of the hottest travel destinations, black fashion designers, influencers, and talents. Do not make the mistake in thinking this is just a fashion show because we did not come to play. So if you love travel and love to floss, do not miss this show. Tickets are available at blacktravelersnetwork.com. Just look for Black Travel Fashion Show and click to grab your ticket. Hello everyone, I'm Jess with Black Travelers Network. I want to come on and bring attention to a topic that I heard this sister make several months ago on Boyce Watkins' YouTube channel. Down in the description box you will actually find a link to this particular Boyce Watkins video. I want to emphasize that this is a judgment-free zone. In no way is this video designed to judge anyone for their habits or their way of life. In fact, in the description box, the two YouTubers who are highlighted in this video, you should definitely check out their channel. If their content appeals to you, I encourage you to follow their channel as well. Black women are the mules of the earth is a quote that was first introduced by world-renowned writer and anthropologist Zora Neale Hurston, who spoke through the central character, Janie Crawford, in her 1937 book, Their Eyes Were Watching God. Today, a sister by the name of Ro Grandjeanois furthered this ideology and associated it with what's happening today. Ro is actually very controversial in her views on what she believes is necessary, appropriate etiquette, behavior, and conduct for Black women who desire to get married. Ro moved her family from America all the way to Paris, France, and has ran a wife school for many years. I want to play this clip from Boys to Show because I believe this is the made a powerful point that was really deserving of its own video and discussion. I and teach women to take these jobs that they have bribed you with to ruin your life and find a way to transfer it to the husband that you are, you know, are mm -hmm. marrying so that he can be the worker and you can be the nurturer. Mm -hmm. Then the mm -hmm. woman can focus on generational success, which is exactly what's not supposed to happen. I just, ha I just want to say that it's blatantly obvious to me, a person who has not watched media in 16 years, a person from America, but from New Orleans, who has grown up in, um, a, a surrounded by black families where the father was the leader of the home, and then going out to, into America and realizing that black America is very, very matriarchal. And one of the reasons why women cannot take correction is because you have to come from a father-led home in order to see correction as love. You're going to see it as an attack otherwise. What type of man would marry a woman who doesn't know how to spend, how to save money, doesn't know how to multiply money and only seeks to marry some him so that she can go shopping. I like, think black women, these black women at this age have been raised by the TV. They yep. literally aren't even listening to their parents if their no. parents did give them good advice. And right. the TV is just going to tell them the opposite of what they need to do to secure the life that they want. Mm -hmm. well, <laughs> and the yep. whole purpose of that is to make sure that black women keep being the working mules of America. It's yeah. just that black women make so much more money in America and take so many jobs away from black men. And then they spend about 100% of what they make right back into the economy. They have tons of debt. Mm. They're create, they have created a system that literally keeps the entire world rolling with America at the top with all of the black women spending. If black women get married, we spend less money and we ruin the world economy. More than anything, I'm curious, what do you think about this statement? Do you feel black women should be more willing to move or relocate out of America to places where we are more in demand to find husbands and life partners? 
I know some of the sisters who are listening may be trying to figure out where on earth does a place like this exist? To be very specific, I will use the country of Ghana. You know, we have a trip coming up to Ghana. For details about this, email blacktravelersnetwork at gmail.com. And that's travelers with an L-E-R-S network.com. And so here's what I will say about Ghana. Ghana is a lovely country with beautiful black people. The women are beautiful and the men are beautiful. People either don't know or they choose not to highlight it, but the population of men in Ghana slightly outnumbers the population of women. There's an abundance of single men in Ghana. So for black women who prefer black men, Ghana is a little bit of the spot. A lot of these men are great looking, physically fit black men who culturally have been raised to focus on finding a wife, establishing a family and being the provider. This is part of their culture, especially for men once they hit that age group of, you know, late 20s, early 30s. I've seen black American sisters as old as 65 go over to Ghana and nab some very handsome, younger Ghanaian men who have made them quite happy. I can only speak to what I have witnessed and I'm certainly not saying or suggesting that every sister go this route because there's so much more to this conversation and so much more for you to think about and to consider. But what I will say is there are places in the world where black women, regardless of your shape or your size, you are in demand. And the same is true for brothers. So part of the beauty of traveling is finding out where are those destinations, where are those locations where you are hot. Thank you to everyone especially those in the Black Travelers Network community for helping us cross the 500 subscriber milestone. This channel was actually created as another avenue to communicate with those in the Black Travelers Network community. So it's been great to have others of you come on board. So make sure you take the time to click the like button, subscribe to the channel if this is your first time listening, and hit the notification bell to make sure you get notified when new videos drop.